Hello chess friends, this is Nazmi Can. In this video we will talk about chess strategy and our main topic is the open files. Let's begin with a simple definition. Open files are those which are free of pawns that can be used by rooks and queen. For this reason, open files play an important role in chess strategy. Let's illustrate this with a very nice game played by Spanish Grandmaster Iescas Cordoba. This game does also have very instructive other concepts like weak squares, prophylaxis and eventually a queen sacrifice. Ok, white is Iescas Cordoba and black is the famous English Grandmaster Nigel Short. This game was played in Linares tournament in 1995. White opens the game with the move e4, French defense and white goes for the advanced variation of the French defense. And in this line of the French and as in many others, Black's idea is to weaken or destroy pawn chain in the center. He begins with c5, white wants to preserve his center by c3, knight c6, knight f3, bishop d7, bishop e2. And up to this point normal moves have been played but now short play the move f5. Although I don't want to analyze the opening phase deeply, it should be noted that this move is inaccurate. After this move, black allows white to preserve his strong center, which gives him free hand for playing on both flanks. Instead, black should play the moves like queen b6, attacking d4 square, or knight g7, with the same idea of attacking white's pawn center by means of knight f5. Ok, f5 was played, castles, c takes d4, c takes d4 and there arises an open file which is our main topic today and in this game we will discuss three stages to make use of the open files. First stage, removing the opponent's pieces blocking the open file which is c6 knight here. Second stage, control of the open file with the rooks. And third, penetrating to the seventh rank with the rooks. Ok, knight g7 was played and now white takes an important strategical decision. In the French defense and in this kind of pawn formations, both sides have their own bad bishops. In this case, black has d7 bad bishop and white has c1 bad bishop because in this pawn formation e6 and d5 it makes hard for black bishop to um, get active easily and for the c1 bishop it's the same case here for this reason b3 was played white wants to exchange on a3 knight c8 trying to develop a castle Bishop a3, takes, takes, castles, and white connects the rooks by playing queen d2. Queen e7, attacking knight, knight c2, and black played the move bishop e8. With the hindsight, a5 would be a better move, with the idea of preventing white's next move. And white played a very strong b4 move here. White starts first stage. He wants to remove the blocking knight here on c6. And black plays the move a5. Seeing white's plan, black wants to prevent white expansion and tries to create a safe spot for his knight on b6 square, which cannot be disturbed by the moves a4, a5. a5. But instead, it's probably preferable to play bishop h5 immediately and black will try to connect his rooks by further playing his knight. Ok, a5, b5, knight d8 and white begins the second stage, control of the open file with his rooks, rook fc1. And seeing that white wants to um, make use of the c-file, black trying to create 
kingside counterplay with the move g5. With this move, he is threatening g4, after which it can be difficult for white's knight um, to find a safe spot. But this weakens the f6 square, very important f6 square, which will be exploited by nicely, uh, nicely by Ilyasas Cordoba. And white prevents black's idea by playing h3 here. Let's see what happens after rook c3. Ignoring black threat, g4, knight g5. Although white has a tactical threat um, trick after knight h6, knight h3. This pawn is pinned on g4. But after, let's say, bishop e8, black creates a threat of h6 and causes some troubles for black. g5. And for this reason, Cordova plays very strong h3 move and now g4 move is impossible because of knight h2. Now g g4 pawn is lost. So short play the move queen g7. Rook c3 and now white's threatening to take on g5 which can be followed by rook g3. Let's say knight b6. Knight takes g5, bishop takes, queen takes, and knight's untouchable because of rook g3. Bishop takes f3, knight takes f3, and now white attacks the g5 pawn, h6, and white doubles on the c file and is ready to penetrate from c7 square. Knight b6. And now white uh, makes a remarkable move here with a very beautiful idea of getting this knight to f6 square, knight h2, a brilliant move. He wants to prepare this knight maneuver to the f6 square, king h8, knight f1. And uh, black is hoping to meet this rook c7 moves always with the move rook f7. So Black is, um, white is in no hurry to play rook c7. Knight f1. Creating the, uh, permanent idea by playing knight f1. a4. a3. And rook f7. Knight g3. It's also uh, important to note that after trying to, um, prevent white's knight to get in this beautiful direction, white can easily play knight h2 and play knight g4 and f6, a4, a3, and rook f7. As you see, black's forces are disconnected, so he has to defend carefully. Knight g3, white is continuing his idea. Queen f8, knight h5, rook e7, knight f6. Knight e7, and now um, repeating moves to gain some time. Knight h5, knight b6, and now third phase, penetrating the seventh rank, rook c7. And now, seeing that black has nothing but tactical tricks, short play the move knight c4, which allows a brilliant queen sacrifice. I think you can stop your video in order to find. Uh, the best continuation here, but it's almost forced to take on e7. Rook takes e7, a very strong move. Now it's very hard to take on d2 because white will follow up with rook c7 and probably it soon ends with mate. Queen takes e7, bishop takes c4, d takes c4, rook takes c4, and still. White has open file and trying to penetrate, if possible, by means of playing queen c3 and rook c7. So black is trying to grab some material in order to uh, find some counterplay with his a pawn, rook c7, queen f8, 
trying to protect his king and creating the threat of a3, queen a2, blocking the a pawn and trying to attack the e6 square, and a3 was played. And after this moment, um, black is almost helpless after knight f6. Knight f7 is forced because white is threatening um, checkmate on h7. Knight f7, queen takes e6, a2. Now black is hoping to um, promote the queen, but this will not help. After queen takes f7, um, even white exchanges the queens and allows his opponent to play this move with check, but even so, he's threatening mate here, and after queen exchange, he cannot protect um, rook 7 mate, so after b6, white mates his opponent with rook 7 A very beautiful game, which illustrates um, our main topic, the open files. As I mentioned, there are three phases for the open files. First phase is removing the opponent's pieces. In this case, we might remember white plays b4, b5 in order to get rid of this knight, which blocks the c file. And second phase, trying to control the open file with the rooks. And third phase, and the last one, is to penetrate with the rooks via 7th rank.